Hey everybody, it's Chugga Connor. Welcome back for more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, I promised I would show you where to get a weird, awkwardly placed star piece. Whatever. I'm not good at intros to videos. Uh, there is no switch there though, so what do we do? We jump through this window! We jump out the window! Ah, no, we don't. We just get the star piece right there. Easy. Uh, continuing, we just go over here and we go over here. Anything for us over here? No, there is not. Just go out through this window and boom, we are on the other side. Not hard at all. The way I was talking right there kind of reminded me of uh, Pimpachu from Smash Taz, and he was actually my favorite character. I actually heard that uh, the kid who played Pimpachu actually doesn't want to do him any do that voice anymore, though, because people were sending him messages like saying like you're a poser and all that, like even though he's just acting. So I thought that was always kind of funny. Okay, that door is locked, so let's try going over here. Okay, we can stop getting interrupted by the undead. Let's go through here. Huh? Oh my. Who's this handsome piece of cheese? I can't believe there are other thieves here besides me. How very strange. Hey, who are you? Me? Why, I'm Miss Mouse, the globe-trotting thief. Heard of me, sweetie? I heard that there were rare and valuable badges here in this castle. That's why I'm here. Is it just me or does it sound like the Austin Powers theme? It's like... Wah, wah, nah, 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 nah. No, never mind. But the real question is, why are people like you roaming around such a rundown place? Well, you see, we're here to beat Hooktail and get the, um, Crystal Star, so don't think we'll let you get the Crystal Star first, no matter how cute, cute you are. Crystal Star, you say? Mm-hmm. -hmm. I didn't know a thing like that was hidden in this castle. Sounds intriguing. Perhaps I just heard something you didn't want me hearing? Mm-hmm. -hmm. Darn. Oh, but that's okay. I mean, you're looking for the Crystal Star first. And I already found the badge I was after. So, I'll let you get your Crystal Star. Um, hey, what's that supposed to mean? She kissed Mario's overall button. Mm-hmm, <laughs> means that I... It means I must say bye-bye for now, Mr. Cutie. I know, it's sad. We just met. It's already time to say for a while. Alas. Oh my, you're so bold. Is that legal? <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I have a little secret to share with you. Somewhere in this castle's a badge that will help you beat the best hook tail. Or so I've heard. I don't know what kind of badge it is. Maybe you found it already? Maybe not. We already got it! I already told them about it. Yes, you recommend finding the badge first. Aw, she's so, so cute. Not really. Uh, you can see the next shine sprite is up there. Um, do I need mushroom? Mm, I'll dump my horse tail. I just got that to show it. Uh, castle key. That is what we need. And... Honey syrup. I'll dump my turtley leaf for that. Alright, let's just go ahead and get the shine sprite. Then a shine sprite number two on the list. Very nice. So we already got two of them. One more, and we can upgrade a character. Just keep going. Let's get moving, as Shadow would say. God, I've, I've been watching a Let's Play of Sonic 2006 lately. It is so funny. Okay, anyway. Just keep going. Um. So yeah, like I was saying, I was watching a... Oh, looks like we leveled up from that battle. Okay, hopefully now a guy can get two words in without getting interrupted by an encounter. Jeez. That was a lot of fun. the HP this time. I'm mainly just going to alternate HP, FP, BP for a while, and then as we get really far in the game, I'll just do BP pretty much every level, you know, kind of kind of the same thing I did in Paper Mario 1. It works here. You're going to hit that switch, do coops over here, and boom. This is kind of easy to fall off from. Time that well. Anyway, there is a star piece over there, which we will get if I don't fall off again. Even though these things are crooked, you can go flat and go through them. Okay, come on. I'm kind of glad we don't have the spin dash in this game, or else I'd probably be using it like crazy right here and just fall right off. Alright, we got a lovely piece of a star. That made my voice crack really badly. I apologize. And that does it for all the uh, star pieces that we can currently get in Hooktail Castle. There are some that we can come back and get later, but I'm not going to worry about mentioning those now, because there's no point since we're getting these in chronological order. Uh, what's this down here? Let's use this. Let's get the castle key, though. But what happens if we jump down? Whoop! 
We get a badge! The last stand partner! It's... Your partner will take half damage while in danger if you use that on them. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut back up to the top of that. One thing I forgot to mention is if you jump down um, from that green block, go through this, you get a life shroom, which is kind of nice. It restores 10 HP normally when used, but you actually uh, will get brought back to life if you die. So that's actually kind of nice. Okay, now that we've done that, let's just go over here, going up the stairs, with the hipping and the hopping. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just... I'm being very Bill Cosby-ish today. And here is our third Shine Sprite. We now have the ability to go upgrade a party member, which I think I might do in between this video and the next video. You know. Just keep going. Whoa. That was... funny. Well, marveling at that view sure didn't last long, before we got hit by a first strike. And another. Okay, hopefully now we won't get hit by another first strike. I mean, jeez. Just keep going through here. Whoa. Graphics only possible with Nintendo GameCube, the most powerful system ever made! Nah. I don't know. I. This actually does look pretty cool, though. Not exactly pushing GameCube, though, but this is a Paper Mario game. <laughs> There's three mushrooms. They're the same color. What are you, racist? Okay, that was kind of a weird enemy placement there. Hey, check it out! That room is completely empty! I think we'll be fine! Uh, anyway, we're probably gonna want to go over here, heal first, and then save. <laughs> um, well, I guess we're going to go to the very top of this castle in the next episode. I'm going to head back to Rogueport to get that peekaboo badge that I spoke of, and I'm going to also upgrade Goombella, you know, before I, you know, before the next part, alright, though, so I'll already do all that, and I'll just be right back here when I see you guys next time, alright? So, next time Paper Mario 2, we'll get to the end of the castle. See you guys then.